yeah we've had a, a bit of a problem with the uh, tower frame and what's happened if I can explain this but normally this bar should lock when you pull away and this spring here there's a spring underneath or supposed to be a spring underneath pops up and that locks the bar and of course that's not happened so what I've had to do is I had to lock it manually I can't do it one <laughs> I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna get some help here <laughs> so I'm gonna hold the camera there you go so what happens is that you have to lift this up and then put that in and I'm a little bit worried it's not going in there oh come on ah oh, you see do it from that side I can't lift it up now that's it yeah that's what I should have done right I will have to un unconnect it again again oh, damn it but I've had some help <laughs> <laughs> We've, uh, we've just fallen us behind, of Andromeda. We were, of Andromeda's Travels, yes. We're, put, I, we're, do the, the links up here somewhere. Is it up there? Up there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he's he kindly helped me lock it on manually. Uh, but yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just do it again then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. So Jenny can film it this time. <laughs> My goodness me, how many videographers does it take to change a tour for him? And then break on. Yes. Because that's, I shouldn't have unlocked it when the handbrake was off. It's just push forward a bit, has it? Yeah. Can I lean it back then? Yeah, it might, it might do. Do you want to just see if I can... Back a bit. No, it's, just see, if it, see if you can get the pin in. Have I got the pin? No, I've got it. I'm in. You're in, okay. I'm in. That's it. Technical problems. <sighs> so how are we going to do this on our own? Well, we'll lock it first and then we'll do it like we did it before manually, so it's a bit more oh, like yeah, a caravan. Okay. So otherwise you'll have to follow us everywhere. <laughs> you have to come with us. I've, I've seen the sights you've been I'm quite happy to follow. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Well, that's no problem. So, yeah, we're leaving, finally leaving, at Harrogate Caravan Park. And, uh, Big thanks to Van Dromeda's Travels who were following us. And the car is still following us, fortunately. And they're following us as well. Yeah, and they're lovely couple, aren't they? Yeah. Ouch. I did suggest they follow us the rest of the tour. <laughs> Come stay at Cater Village with yeah. us. Yeah. So we're going right here then. Yeah, so that was a bit of drama. Yeah, because they um, emptying the bins at the same time, weren't they? Yeah. There's obviously a lot of people leaving, wanting to use the um, motor. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't lock. Normally you just pull forward a few feet and just wasn't locking. So I think that spring must have been going a little while. Yeah, I think that's probably the problem we had that time. Right. Yeah. It's a little okay. way down and across, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, by now I should have put the Google map up, shouldn't I, on this on this yeah. video? So everyone else would know where we're going. Yeah, but we don't. We don't have the map. <laughs> yep. Gone. Yeah, gone. We're on our own now. 
I'll just wriggle in now. Yeah, yeah, wriggle in if you get stuck now. Okay. Take the exit to A1N. Take exit 44 on the left to A64, then enter the roundabout. There's a road we're familiar with, we've been to York. Yeah, on this road quite a bit, haven't we? Yeah. Going the other way from York, aren't we? No. Why not? No. Take the second exit to A sixty four. Oh, of course, it's the other way. It's Leeds, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. And we're going past York and on to Scarborough, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Past where if you want, we're going to Beechwood Grange, you'd yeah turn off. So we'll be going past there, won't we? Yeah, we will. Bumbly. A sixty four Scarborough. the next roundabout. Next roundabout. We always get confused around this roundabout, don't we? Yeah. Every time we've come to that site, we've yeah. got in a mess. Yeah. Ended up going around the... Oh, it is up. It's down there somewhere, it isn't it? It is down there. Yeah. Oh, we've had a very pleasant drive through the A... along the A64. Yeah, it's not been too bad, has it? And a lot of it is dual carriageway, but then you go back to this single carriageway, don't you? But we haven't had any hold-ups, have we? No. No. That's blue skies. Blue skies, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> no, it's gone wrong, isn't it, but, for today? Oh yeah, we've had so. that, that today. At the roundabout, take the first exit to A64. OK. There's a little campsite here, on the left. Is there? Yeah. Spittle oh, yeah. camping... Ca caravan and camping site. I think it's part of the pub. Yeah, looks like oh, it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The third exit. Dunslow Road. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Caton. Caton on there, yeah. Yeah. It's a McDonald's over there. This what? It's a McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. Where the Mac McPlant, didn't we? <laughs> McDonald's yeah. <laughs> yeah, first McDonald's for donkey's years. Yeah. Big Morrison's there as well. Yeah. Car centre of uh, Scarborough. Scarborough. Yeah. Turn left at the traffic light. I remember this. You remember it? Yeah. Okay. Glad you do. Don't remember it at all. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I think that was flashing, flashing at the BMW rather than me. 
before anyone well, says anything. We're crawling along, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> Doing 25 miles an hour. We walk to this pub, isn't it? This one here? No. No. Not there, it's not a little there. bit further along. It's a little store there. Yeah. was the pub we went to yeah, the pub on the right wasn't it yeah, yeah. It was quite nice but look a basic basic food wasn't it in a quarter of a mile turn left onto mill lane then take the first left yeah there's a fish and chip shop in there yeah and there's another the right. pub here it's not this one is no, it no no mill lane not church lane yeah you can get to it from there can't you yeah, if we can walk that down there, can't yeah. you? Is it this one? No, it's not no, this one. No. Guess you find it's the one with the caravan sign. There's the brown sign yeah. there, isn't there? Yeah, there we are. Where the caravan's coming out. When in. they're coming left out. Onto Mill Lane, then take the first left. Which is just as well because the road ahead is closed there. Yeah. Busy. Yeah. Got these freedom to go things as well, haven't they? Yeah. Here as well. We're going to arrive at Caden Village Club site on the left. Okay. It is all new, isn't it? Yeah. Next to Glen somewhere, we'll have a little walk round the site a little bit later. But it has changed massively since since we came here. Yeah. All this all this bit frontage here is all changed. It's all the um, the little um, holiday huts. What they call freedom to go, isn't it? Freedom to go, yeah. Yeah. This was all, these are grass pitches here by the looks of it. Don't yes. think they're open yet. It's difficult to remember sort of what. What it was like. We'll have to watch. Like. We'll have, there's, a, there's a video we could watch. We, isn't there it? is. Yeah, we've been through the barrier, haven't we? Yeah, we've booked in reception. She said the pitches are quite short, the hard standing pitches. Obviously, the grass ones there look all right. Yeah. But uh, they're redoing all the pitches. It's only recently come into. Um, Caravan and Motorhome Club ownership this this site, so it's going to be closed in November. I thought it was. Yeah. So it's a quite. Uh, it'd be quite <laughs> fascinating to see what it was like. Yeah. Glyn said he's parked over here because it's near the pub. Right. Okay. <laughs> Soon <laughs> as we haven't got a lot of beer with us, yeah, that's well, a good probably idea. Probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, Poppy, please. So he said, I ain't 12 or 13, so. They're on 12. Yeah, they're up there, aren't they? Oh, that's I feel seven. Like the in front of the yes. <laughs> so, which pitch do you want us on? <laughs> 13 or 20 feet. 20 feet right. to the middle, yeah. which I don't think you like, middle. And 13 at the side of us is on the edge. I'll go to the side of you then. Yeah, so that's that one there. you see me. Oh, you're not. Yeah, I, 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 the wrong caravan. I saw a Bailey and a Cougar. <laughs> <laughs> and an awning already up. Yeah. In front of this one with awning. Yeah, you're in front of the one with the awning. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll go up there then. Okay. Yeah, that's a Bailey discovery as well, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, Poppy, we'll be out in a minute. Goodness. 
Just yeah. check the tree. Oh, that's fine. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no leaves on it at all, are there? No. Yeah, well, here we are. Glyn's parked up next to us. And we're just here. There we go. Jenny's untangling the leads. <laughs> but yeah, we've got our own water on the pitch. And horrible neighbours. Yeah, I'm going to ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> and got to use a collapse waste pipe. Who wants what? Oh, sorry. Shh. What? Latte or uh, cappuccino? Um, latte for me, please. Cappuccino, please. Ready, Tom? Cappuccino. And then we Bob's on latte. There's a very nice cafe on site here. <laughs> right next door to us. <laughs> <laughs> Glyn forgot his hose, so he's borrowing mine. Just thought I'd say that. <laughs> Oh, it's the extender, isn't it? Yeah, it just stops it leaking. You have to sort of stretch it all out. Yeah, it's really nice here. You hear the seagulls, so you know you're by the sea. That's the path out and a walk to the pub. We'll have a full walk around a little bit later. Glamping tents here. Usual high standard chemical disposal. Uh, got recycling area, general waste, wastewater, and drinking water. I think there's a separate motorhome service point. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. But we'll have a look at that as well. These are all the grass pitches. Well, not all the grass pitches, some of the grass pitches. Fenced off at the moment. But yeah, it is an absolutely massive site. And there's still a little bit of building work going on at the back there, putting in some service pitches next to the toilet. Over there is the new toilet block and these are the new service pitches going in. We've got these app bikes that you can hire quite handy. Electric bikes. Yeah. Right, so whilst Glyn's gone to get his shopping and our beer, I thought I'd take you for a slow drive around the site because it is such a big site. I wanted to have a little look around myself. what it's like, see how it's changed. It seems completely different to us at the moment. I think just down there is reception. I think we were up here. One of these, I can't really remember. One of these pitches up here, I think. There's a load of building work going on behind us. It looks like new houses. bit. It's not very, very busy up here. Oh yeah, I do remember this now. Got like a um, play area there. Uh, football and basketball. You can see the money that's been spent here because there's another t new toilet block up the top there. Service point here on the right. Ones have got like little um, barbecue uh, tables on them. It's quite nice with picnic benches. Cleaning them at the moment, so maybe after we finish the cleaning. Service point here. 
152, that pitch there, and there's an 83, the one on the left. Good heavens. If you want to be on your own, you certainly can come up here and it'll be quite nice and quiet. Give way to coming vehicles. Got a little service area there for the points on these blue pegged pitches. Yeah, so I think that's the complete circuit. Right. I'm just looking at the uh, the leaflet, I'll put this on the screen, but uh, I think it goes up to 200 and, was it 206 pitch numbers. Yeah, you said there's not many people up the, the other area, no. the upper side. No, I, I had a drive around there, it's quite empty. Um, it's 16 amp hookup, we're on a fully serviced pitch. Uh, we've got waste, which means we've got waste, electricity obviously, and fresh water on the pitch. And uh, it says TV reception is generally good. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I've found so far Vodafone and um, EE. EE. -E. <laughs> yeah. A long day today. Are, yeah. are both okay? Yeah. Yeah. So that's all right. Yeah. So um, yeah. So we're here for what, five nights. Four. Four nights. Four nights. Four nights. In the um, week. In the week. So we're, yeah. we're not Saturday or Sunday. No. So it's 133.15 for four nights, yeah. fully serviced. Yeah. Uh, I work that out, it's about £33 a night. Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. That's not bad, for fully serviced. Yeah. It's not high season yet, obviously. No, no. Uh, and we're up the end um, nearest the pub, aren't we? Yeah. And like I said, Glyn, Glyn chose this pitch. <laughs> Nearer the pub. <laughs> No, Leading us to rack and ruin, isn't he? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so, so. I think that's it for now, unless you've got anything to add. No, no, I am mean, just looking at the leaflet. And yeah, what about and buses things. and things like that? Um, well, we went on the bus just from oh, outside right. the gate yeah. here last time. Took yeah. us into, was into the centre of Scarborough. It's a very busy bus, wasn't it? It was then. I don't know how busy it, it is, is now. It is now. Quite busy coming back. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what we did last time. The, the top thing it suggests... Is yeah. Scarborough Castle. Yeah. And we did go there last time, didn't we? It's Terrific up there. Fabulous the castle. Yeah. I mean, a yeah. day like this must be brilliant up there. Yeah. So um, we're hoping to get a few days out whilst we're here and yeah. uh, hopefully the weather will hold for us. Fingers crossed. Yeah, not sure where yet, so it'll all be a surprise to everyone. To us. It'll be a surprise <laughs> to us. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when I said that when we arrived, uh, Glenn had forgot his hose pipe? So I thought I'd lend him my flat hose. Because you forgot your hose pipe. Yeah. I forget, I do something every time, Bobby, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought we'd lend him our flat one. And it's sprung a leak twice now. Oh, no, there's another one, look. Oh, yeah, another one. I think we're going to have to buy a new hose pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a wander down to the reception and see if they See if they've got any. They got any. Yeah. Yeah. So th I think we've had this hose probably about seven years, so it's... And it's supposed to be coiled up most of the time, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we only... Well, it got hot in the van and then cold and then hot yeah. and then cold. Yeah, and... that's right. I mean, we only ever use it for filling up the, the, wa the water tank. We don't leave it permanently connected. Obviously, on a caravan, you're going to leave the, the thing connected, aren't you? Mm. That's yeah, the yeah. theory, anyway. That's it, yeah. It's supposed to be able to... Because we have a float in there, so yeah. the float fills up and then knocks off yeah and then when you use the water it tops it up again yeah i mean this is an advantage of the whale filling system is that that is a, also an electrical connector and when you we switch the pump on inside obviously that pumps through there so on a service pitch a caravan has a big advantage if it's got a whale connector i think the baileys tend to do that don't they yeah so uh yeah, yeah. so I shall have a wander down to reception and see if... Go and buy a hose pipe. <laughs> Not a hose pipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
I'm afraid there's not much of a dog walk here at the moment. I just come in here and I think they've had to fence it off because of all the building work. I used to go around there, but still, I wanted to go for a little walk around the church, hey girls? Yeah, this is the upper dog walk, or the upper site dog walk. So we're going to go around here. Yeah, so a bit of an update. We've been here two days now. Uh, it's a very nice site, but we've decided to cancel the Dewsbury site. It's really about the A-frame, the problems we're having with the A-frame. We don't want to be hooking up the A-frame on a site we don't really know. We don't know how level it is or... Or, or what, and it's going to be difficult enough hooking that A-frame up here and at um, the site we're going to go to, which is Hebden Bridge but at least we know what it's like uh, we're going to send the A-frame off, it's going to be repaired so that'll be, so we'll be without the A-frame for a, a few weeks possibly don't know how long they're going to do, take to do it, but they say they've got a quick turnaround time but hopefully we'll get that sorted yeah, so I think that's it I saw it's the, uh, it is a lovely site, I'm glad we came here, it's really, really nice if you like uh, caravan and motorhome club sites, you'll really like this one. Um, the only disappointment of course is the uh, building work that's going on mainly behind us here, so I suppose if you're coming then you can avoid this side of the site, you'll be fine. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notifications icon and you're going to update when we release our next video, which will, will be going to Hebden Bridge. So come along with us for that. We're going to do a bit of genealogy. We're still planning to go to Dewsbury and look at my family history or at least find some of the places where my ancestors lived. So hopefully that'll be interesting and uh, we'll catch you in that one. So bye then.